is kind of my take on pop staples. I mean, sometimes when you hear pops, it almost seems like there's a little bit of a Memphis rockabilly thing in there. I think it's probably more just a blues thing that's that's been countrified a little bit, but it's not that far off from somebody like Scotty Moore in, in some ways. You can, there's similarities. <laughs> particular that uh, has surprised you about playing with Mavis for the last uh, two or three years or anything that you've learned that you weren't expecting to? Well, she's, uh, I mean, it, it, there's so many things I could say about her. She's been doing it since she was 10 or 11 years old, so she's about 60 years doing this. And it doesn't matter what the monitors are like or what the sound's like, what the conditions are, how far she's traveled. She's very old school. She's going to put on a great show. And so that's really cool. She's very encouraging to us as the, you know, the band that plays behind her. Um, we really get a chance to stretch out with her. And I, I guess maybe the main thing that I've, that's been just really inspiring about her is that she's a lot of fun. She's, she's really in the moment. And it's, it's not a history lesson with her musically it's it's about getting a groove and and saying something and, and doing something and moving people so um, it's not like you got to go and you oh no that's not exactly I mean we we care about her a lot and her music and so we want to get it right and so when a song like will the circle be unbroken or why my treat is so bad or freedom highway we try to stay in that bag but she's She's wanting us to rock out. She's wanting us to, to lay it all out. She loves Jimi Hendrix. She she loves all kinds of music that might surprise people. You know that she doesn't sound anything like, but she's not in a little bag. You know she likes all kinds of stuff. 